Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and as you can see, we have Tim Scott versus Kamala Harris. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. What if Tim Scott ran for president against Kamala Harris? I would just like to start off by saying Tim Scott would be a very good choice for the Republican Party. He picks up the African American vote, the independent vote, the Republican base, anti Trump conservatives. He picks up even some moderate Democrats who wouldn't vote for Kamala Harris. So, yeah, that's actually that's actually a pretty good choice, Tim Scott being the nominee. But before we actually start this video and prediction, I would just like to speak about a few things. So, a lot of you have been asking me, well, not in the comments, but personally on my Discord, mainly, to record, to make a, an updated video on the California recall election, and I will be doing that, I will actually do it tomorrow, so thanks for the idea, I will be doing an updated version of the California recall. Okay, so let's begin with the prediction, we all know the safe states. Sorry, my computer just lagged there for a second. So, we know the safe states that have pretty much no chance of flipping in this, or no chance of anything happening in this election. California, Oregon, Washington, Tim Scott carries Alaska by a safe margin, despite it going by a likely margin. Let's just speed through these states. We all know that these states are not going to flip, like, anytime soon. New York, Virginia, likely. I would put Virginia lean, but um, Virginia prefers establishment Democrats, like Kamala Harris, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden. They prefer those type of people. So that's why Kamala Harris will do better in the state of Virginia. Okay, now let's get moving to the swing states, but not really swing states. Iowa, Ohio, likely. He doesn't have the same type of Rust Belt appeal to them, though. So I'd actually put them as lean, in between lean and likely, I'm not sure. Maybe around like a 4.8% margin, so almost a little Likely, but I'm going to go with lean for this. Texas, I'm going to put as likely. Kamala Harris doesn't have that appeal in Texas that Joe Biden did. She can't go around saying, I'm a centrist, because Tim Scott will be like, well, she will pull up a bunch of record recorded things. It, it, it wouldn't be good for Kamala Harris. And Tim Scott also has the appeal that that. Trump turned off the suburbs in Texas. Tim Scott would bring back most of those suburbs. So if we now go and focus on Florida, I'd see it going lean, Tim Scott. I don't think I need to explain it more there. Kamala Harris is disliked there. Tim Scott just does better there. Nevada, I'd also put as lean towards Tim Scott. Arizona, I'd say, and Georgia. So, especially Georgia. I think Georgia would go lean, Arizona tilt. What's here is that, again, Tim Scott picks up the suburbs in Arizona, but in Georgia, not only does he pick up the suburbs in the state, he also picks up the African American vote there, which is a key demographic to win Georgia. One of the reasons that uh, so that's why we have Raphael Warnock, Herschel Walker as major candidates because in the 2022 Georgia Senate race because they have the African-American vote with them. North Carolina would be lean Tim Scott. I could see Kamala Harris winning New Hampshire, not by a large amount, but still a, still a healthy margin, you could say. 
Michigan would be tilt Republican, and here are my reasons for that. I know some of you may disagree, and I could see it going to Kamala Harris, but uh, right now I see it going to Tim Scott, and my reasons are Detroit, uh, he'd again pick up the African-American vote and the suburbs there, which would help him win there. He'd also, same thing in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. So, because he, where, where's the two elect oh, the districts. <laughs> uh, so, if you look at Michigan, the, the, the Detroit, you'd be able to see that African Americans there, some of those would go to Tim Scott, which would be enough, I'd say, to flip the state from 2020. Uh, overall, Kamala Harris is just a really unpopular candidate. You could compare her to Hillary Clinton, and Tim Scott is a very strong candidate. I'd put Nebraska's second district. I'd say that would be lean Tim Scott, and main second district tilt towards Tim Scott. So thanks for watching this video. I'm also working on getting out the election results, you know, from the form. I, I, I've been working on an election night, in fact, for all that. So you, it, it should be pretty fun to see all of your profile pictures, all the people you voted for on the in an election night. I think it'll be a pretty cool thing. But as I said, election nights can take some time. So don't expect that by maybe you could expect that by maybe next week, but I don't want to set your expectations too high. I haven't been uploading because last week I was on vacation, came back uh, just yesterday at 12.38 a.m., so I needed the rest yesterday and the other days I was on vacation. So I'm back. We'll have more videos than ever coming out. It, it will be a very good time for the channel, I'd say. We are going, uh, we're also going to start, I'm also going to start premiering these videos. You know, like YouTube gives you the option premiere so that kind of like political predictions and analysis and unbiased election predictions, if you know those channels, they do it like that. I like the idea that you get to build a community and there's chat available live. I feel like that's a good idea. So I'm going to just start doing, and you'd know exactly when my video is uploaded, so you can watch it exactly when it is uploaded. So I, I, I'm going to start premiering that, as you can see from this video, which is pr being premiered. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye! Make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps.